You have stepped out and done a job for probably the most frightening of all things that face America today, of course, which is the, the drug problem. You've done the just say no. You've taken it out to the streets, to the schools. And I'm sure that now that you're no longer in the White House, you'll be out there still doing the wonderful job that you have done. I'm so proud of you both. I'm so happy you're home. We welcome you back. God bless you both. Reagan friend, actor Robert Stack, also with the Reagans by their side. A familiar face you see, That's William so excited, I forgot Smith, what I was supposed to do. Former Attorney General. It's my pleasure to introduce Barbara Logan, who toured for two years with Carol Channing in the national tour of Hello, Dolly was four years touring with a national tour of Fiddler on the Roof and played Liza Minnelli's mother in the film Tell Me That You Love Me, Junie Moon, produced and directed by Otto Preminger. She will sing America the Beautiful. And now it's my privilege to introduce President Ronald Reagan and Mrs. Reagan. Thank you very much, all of you, not only our guests here on the platform, but all of you coming out here today. We hadn't quite expected this. And I hardly know where to start it. I know there aren't enough words to say what's really in our hearts about thanking all of you. And I see so many faces that I recognize. It has been a bittersweet several hours this day. Uh, there were many wonderful associates we've been working with for eight years that we had to say a final goodbye to. And at the same time, I have to warn you, if you've never had the experience, when you have to stay eight years away from California, except for an occasional visit, you live in a perpetual state of homesickness. <laughs> but, but this, what you've done here, it, I, I kind of find myself thinking about a friend of mine who worked in a typical American business and he was seven minutes to late late to work and the boss was waiting and said when you were in the service what did they say when you were late oh he said they just stood up saluted and said good morning Colonel <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be that way anyway I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to be late and test that out but there is so much in our hearts and this kindness on your part as I say there is no way to really let you know how deeply we feel and I have to say yes there have been some offers of work already uh, I was asked to play a part in a remake of Bedtime for Bonzo uh, only this time they wanted me to play Bonzo he wasn't a very friendly type, but again, this has been the greatest honor either one of us have ever known, of course, to have temporary custody over the presidency of the United States and with the First Lady 
who, she's not on salary at all back there. But she worked harder than I did. And those young people over there in the green sweaters, I think, give evidence of. She made that remark to someone who had asked the question about drugs in a schoolroom. And today, there are between 12 and 15,000 just say no clubs throughout the schools of the United States. But again, a heartfelt thank you. Neither one of us has any intention of this being uh, a resignation. We're just changing activities, and I'm gonna keep on campaigning out there on the mashed potato circuit for some of the things that we didn't get done in Washington. So be prepared to hear about the line item veto, the balanced budget amendment. And you know something I can say now? I couldn't say this while I had the job. They'd think I was doing it for myself. But now that I'm here, I'm gonna suggest to all of you citizens that the 22nd Amendment limiting to two terms the presidency is an infringement on your democratic rights. No, that's, no, no, no that's, <laughs> no, no, thank you all. No, I want you to tell it to the congressmen because they work for you, they're supposed to work for you. Now, again, I think I'm speaking for Nancy also. We just, God bless you, you have so capped our day here and given us a memory that will be with us always. We thank you for it. Thank you very much. Thank you. We all in California wanted to give you welcome gifts for your return, but what do you give someone who literally has everything? Mr. President, we know you already have new surfboard, sunglasses, jogging shoes, wallet, keychain, driver's license. If you don't, you should have. We know Nancy has that cactus for the patio, a new orange tree, and even a new set of California pottery. <clears throat> So the only thing left for us to get you was something California personal. Mr. President and Mrs. First Lady, or as all of your friends call you, First Lady Nancy, here are your new personal California license plates. I think you're going to have to get a bigger Jeep. Are they bulletproof? <laughs> Ronald Reagan basking in the glow of his friends well, in I California guess just upon his welcome home. He and the First Lady are about to embark on an, another motorcade, this one to their Bel Air home at 668 St. Cloud Road. You want Cloud to give Road. me a helmet? I'd like to mention to you that on the plane ride from Washington, to Los Angeles International here. The president engaged in an extensive interview with reporters on board. Excerpts of that interview can be seen this evening in about an hour from now on Prime News, that's at 8 Eastern, and in an inaugural special at 10 Eastern. Excerpts of the interview. The entire interview in our wrap of this historic inaugural day at 3 a.m. Eastern. And that's our special report. The Reagans come home. I'm Lou Waters in Atlanta. Moneyline is next. Stay tuned.